For lesson 8a, we're talking about solving multi-step equations and inequalities. We have now been through one step, two step, three and above step equations and inequalities. So basically after two steps, we'll just start calling them multi-step. And so on 8a, you're introduced to a couple new vocabulary words, identity and null or empty set. And that's going to be important for you to understand when equations qualify as those. But let's take a look at some multi-step equations. Notice on example one here, we have some parentheses, which means we're going to distribute. We also have variables on both sides, so we're going to pick a side to put those variables on. And then we're going to isolate the variable by uh, doing the inverse operations. Add or subtract first, and then multiply or divide. Let's take a look at the example problems at the bottom for 1a. We have parentheses, so we're going to distribute the 6 to the 3m and to the 3. And so what we have here is 12m plus 12 equals 18m plus 18. Our next step is to pick a side for our variables since we have 12m here and 18m here. We need to pick a side, and it doesn't matter if you minus 18m from both sides or minus 12m. I usually choose to subtract the one or add the one that's going to yield me a positive answer. Sorry, that's a minus 12m there. And if I draw a line here, what I have left is 12 equals 30m plus 18. Okay, so we have now been through uh, the distributive property to get rid of the parentheses or the grouping. We had variables on both sides, so we picked a side. I picked the right side. And now we need to isolate that variable, isolate the m by doing the inverse operations. The coefficient of the variable will always be the last thing that we take care of. So in this case, I'm going to take rid of the 18 by subtracting 18 from both sides and 12 minus 18 is negative 6. So we get negative 6 equals 30m. And I apologize about the handwriting here. I don't have my little fancy keyboard or tablet so I can write a little bit better. Uh, the last step is going to divide by 30. 30 divided by 30 is 1. And that's what we want, 1m. And negative 6 divided by 30 is negative one-fifth. Yes, you could change that to a decimal, negative point two, but negative one-fifth is just fine as well. Okay, and on 1b, we have variables, uh, sorry, parentheses on both sides, so we're going to distribute first. So we have 5n minus 15, and on the right side, we have 3n plus 21. And we have variables on both sides, so I can either minus 3n from both sides or I could minus 5n. I'm choosing to minus 3n because it yields me a positive value coefficient for my n, so I have 2n minus 15 equals 21. And then I'm going to isolate the variable n by doing the opposite operations, the inverse operations. I will always take care of the coefficient of n or the variable last. So in this case, I'm going to get rid of this 15 by doing the opposite of minus 15, which is plus 15. And when I add 15 to 21, I get 2n equals 36. And when I divide by 2 on both sides, I get n equals 18. Going on to page 375, we have the uh, examples that talk about the identity and null uh, set, the vocabulary words. So at the bottom of page 374, gave you those definitions. It's null or empty set which is shown by the symbols right here, and the braces or the uh, 
zero with a line through it. Okay, that means the equation has no solution. And we also have an equation that has every value of the variable is true, which is called identity. So let's take a look at a couple of those examples. At the bottom, sorry, at the top of page 375, there's an equation there that has distribution, and we also have combining like terms. Notice when we get down to the final answer, we get 10 equals 10, which is a true statement. And so that's going to be the identity because the solution set includes all real numbers. If I go to B though, I go through my equation same way by distributing, combining like terms, getting the variables to one side, notice I come up with negative 14 equals 6, which is never true. And so in that case, the equation has no solution, so it's the empty set. Okay, let's just do one of these problems here for um, the null and empty set and identity. Again, we have parentheses on 2a, so we're going to distribute, and I get negative 6r minus 8 equals negative 5r minus 8 minus r. I've distributed, now I have variables on the same side that I can combine. Um, on the right we have negative 5r take away r which is negative 6r and then minus 8 and on the left side we have the same thing negative 6r minus 8. So what we have here is identity because we have the same thing on the left equaling the same thing on the right. I could add 6r to both sides and add 8 to both sides and I'd get 0 equals 0 but um, I just know when I have the same thing on both sides and I'm going to get the identity. Okay. And just really quickly, let's take a look at 2b. We have 14 plus 8w, and on this side we have 32 plus 4 times 2w is 8w, okay? So again, I'm not going to go any further because I have 14 plus 8 times a number equals 32 plus 8 times a number, okay? No matter what number we put in for w, and multiply by 8, we're going to get the same answer. But when we add 32 on the right and add 14 on the left, we're never going to get an answer that equals itself. So there's going to be no solution to that problem. For inequalities, we're going to do the same thing that we did with equations by dis distributing and doing the inverse operations. And in this case, we don't have x equals 4 and a half. We have x is greater than 4 and a half. So any number greater than 4 and a half will be a solution. So I could pick the number 10. Is 10, is x, or sorry, x is greater than 10. Is 10 greater than 4.5? Yes, it is. So I should be able to put in 10 to my inequality and have a true statement. 10 minus 3 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28 and 28 is greater than 6. And that works for any number greater than 4.5. For 3a, I will have 3 is less than 4x plus 8. And when I subtract 8 from both sides, subtract 8, I get negative 5 is less than 4x. And when I divide by 4, divide by 4, I get negative 1 and 1 fourth is less than x. But I always like to have the x on the, or the variable on the left side. So I'm going to rewrite that as x is greater than negative 1 and 1 fourth. So I'm going to check my solution by picking a number that's greater than negative 1 and 1 fourth. So I'm just going to pick the number 0. 0 plus 2 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 is less than 8. So I know that my answer is correct. For 3b, I'm going to distribute the 4 to the b and the negative 3, so I have 4b minus 12 
is less than or equal to 72. And when I add 12 to both sides, add 12, we get 4b is less than or equal to 84. And we divide by 4, divide by 4, we get b is less than or equal to 21. So let's pick a number less than or equal to 21. Let's pick the number 0 again. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, which is less than or equal to 72. On page 376, we have just a couple more example problems. For example, 4, we're translating a story problem into an inequality and uh, uh, solving it. So for the example 4, got it problem, Sophia recycled 3 pounds less than the amount that James recycled. Hannah recycled three times the amount that Sophia recycled. If they recycled a total of 53 pounds, how many pounds did so Sophia recycle? So in this case, we're going to start with the variable, or which one's going to be the variable, and we're going to say James is going to be J, okay? James is J, and then Sophia did three pounds less than James, so we're going to say J minus 3 is going to be our Sophia. And then Hannah recycled three times what Sophia recycled. So three times Sophia would be parentheses around Sophia with a three out front. And they recycled a total of 53 pounds. So we can do James plus Sophia which is j minus 3, plus Hannah, which is 3j minus 9, if you distribute that 3, okay? And we're going to set that equal to 53 pounds. Let's combine like terms. We have 2j plus 3j, which is 5j. And then we have minus 3 and minus 9, which is minus 12, equals 53. And if we add 12 to both sides, add 12, we get 5j equals 65. And when we divide by 5, divide by 5, j equals 13. And remember that J was James, so James did 13 pounds. Sophia did thir 3 less than that, so that's 10. And Hannah did 3 times that, which is 30. So we have a total of 53 pounds between them. Let me just check my answer there. 10 pounds was the one for Sophia, and Sophia was 10 less than James. Finally, when we get down to example 5, we're not only solving the inequality, but we're also graphing it on a number line. So we're going to distribute any parentheses that we see. We're going to get variables to the same side and solve like normal. It's just when we get down to our final answer of k is less than 2, that's going to be an open circle at 2 with an arrow going to the left. And same thing on 5b. We have parentheses. Then we have variables on both sides, so we're going to pick a side, and then we're going to do the inverse operation to get our answer. Don't forget that when we divide or multiply by a negative number, we're going to flip the sign. And in this case, when we graph it, it would be a closed circle at 23 with an arrow going to the left. Hope this video was helpful for reviewing multi-step equations and inequalities. Make sure to pay attention to details, the negative signs, the inequality signs, and do your IXL um, practice lessons in addition to the homework for Lesson 8, and you should be good to go.